is a tough nut from the Northern Territory. In fact, he's undefeated in the Territory since 1987. He won a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games four years ago, and tonight he steps into the ring against India's Gurmit Singh. Let's go back now to Matthew Brooks and Jeff Fennick. And with both fighters having buys in the first round, the winner of this contest will go through to the quarterfinals. James Swan of Australia in the blue, up against Gurmit Singh of India in the red. Well, Swan need to take no risks at all at the moment. He's just um, coasting, doing the right thing, landing with another beautiful left hook there. He does, like I said, he doesn't need to take any risks. He's got to do the job, get it done, and get through this and get into the quarterfinal. Swan with a wealth of experience. Won a bronze medal at the 94 Games in Canada. Won a gold medal at the multi-nations tournament in the UK in 96. Went to the Olympic Games in 1996 in Atlanta. Also won gold at the Oceanas earlier this year in Wellington in New Zealand. Just under a minute remaining in round number four. Swan ahead 13 points to five. really has turned into a very much a mauling brawling affair this featherweight contest a lot of infighting not what you would call pretty stuff no but certainly where James Swan wants to be at the moment uh, he doesn't want to be at the end of the, the Indians long jab he wants to be in close working away the way he is although he's not scoring too many points the Indian is uh, scoring uh, no points at all he's still on five well, the judges tend to favour headshots to the body rather than body shots. Well, at the moment, they're, they're favouring neither. And as we enter the fifth and final round, the Australian ahead 14 points to six. And Jeff, just on that point about the, the body shots and the head shots and the judges favouring the head shots, amateur boxing is all about being safety first and surely going to the body is safer than going to the head. Well, it's safer, but the, the judges don't seem to register 95% um, of body shots. But I was speaking to a, a leading official here uh, from SOCOG and uh, he tells me that they were instructed to um, count as many body shots as they can. Swan scoring well early here in the fifth. He now leads by 10 points. The Indian really hasn't fought a smart fight. Should have kept this much more on the outside. He's played right into the Australian's hands. Just under a minute remaining. Swan again digging to the body with the left. The Indian holding him once again on the inside. I feel it very important for a couple of these Aussies to get through the early rounds because they will improve with fights and they will improve with confidence. Good two-punch combination there from Swan as he came in. He's unrelenting. A very busy fighter is James Swan. As we get into the closing stages of this featherweight contest. And it would appear that James Swan is through to the quarterfinals. So he is now just one win away from the medal round in the featherweight division. And one would think that he is one of our better medal hopes here at the Commonwealth Games. Well done to Northern Territory's James Swan. And of course, he's now a chance to at least get as far as the...